Hey guys, this is the video on how to deal with one of the ECM connectors. The back shell is same thing, you're gonna have a zip tie on the back shell. You'll have to cut that off. Yeah, the quality of these videos sucks. Once the zip tie is off, there are four latches and you have to do this with it in the upright position. There's a latch right in here, under here, two on the other side. The way they say it to do it is to do kind of a twisting motion on it. So I would go flat blade in right here, kind of along the edge and you're just trying to lift that latch up. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna try and break this back shell, but it is possible to get them off. Probably the smaller screwdriver than the red one would make it a little bit easier. The red one is not the right tool for it. So that's how you would get the back shell off. One, two, three, four. You do not need to take that off. Uh, well, you, if you're gonna take a wire out, you will need that. So to get this off, uh, the TPA off, it's a matter of just the four sides. I like to just lift it up. I kind of have to do it four sides. Once you have one side loose, if you hold that one up, you can go to the other side and continue lifting the TPA. You'll notice it's a little askew at this point in time. This is what I meant by pop one side up all the way and then it's just a matter of lifting the other side and it comes off completely. Using the tool that I sent you, and that's this fancy thing, um, this is what you will use to actually remove the tools. Now, please practice this on the bad connectors that I gave you because it will make a big difference. On the removal tool, you will notice on the tip that it is slanted. You always want the long side down and the short side up, not the a blade, so should be able to see the good slant right there. All it is is literally sliding it in. So does not require a lot of pressure. If there's a bad one and some of the connectors could be bad, you could see that. So I'm just gonna pick a terminal right here and just lining up on top of the terminal. Nothing special. Uh, all you're trying to do is literally slide it in with the top of uh, above the terminal, not into the terminal face above the terminal. Once I have it in here, there's a nice, and this is where you have to practice with it a few times, I'm trying to do this. <clears throat> so I'm just trying to slide along the top portion of that terminal and you'll reach a point and you'll, you'll get to the point where you can actually apply some pressure. Not a lot, I'm not talking jamming this thing in with the back of my hand all the way in. All it takes is, Just that again, parallel with the terminal, slide it in with the face, the tip down, and you will feel just a very, very light latch and pop up. At that point in time, the terminal would be ready to go to pop up, pull out if you had the, the back side. I can go across these really easy and not a lot. So if you notice I'm just kind of pinching between two fingers. It does not take a lot to get these things to unseat if the connector's in good shape. A lot of times I'll just go back and make sure I'm doing it the right way. Some do require a little bit more force, but we're not, again, pushing in hard. That's all it takes. And if you guys keep practicing, you'll start getting the feel for what it is and be able to remove the terminals without any issues. Any questions, give me a call.